especially our retirees. I want to say a lot to each of you, but uh, unfortunately we don't have that much time. We'd be here for days if I had to express to you right now my appreciation and admiration for each of you and what you've brought to our school over the years. Um, each of you hold a very special place in all of our hearts, but especially mine. And I cannot express my gratitude enough for all that you have done and all that you have given to our school. Each of you have truly made it a better place to be. And each of you will be sorely missed. This is obviously not the goodbye send-off that I wanted to give you. We had something much grander planned, but circumstances kind of forced our hand to do something a little different. And again, what we're going to do today um, does not even touch what we should be doing for each of you. Um, but it is a token of our appreciation. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the words that are going to be said about you today by your colleagues. hope you enjoy the tribute video. Uh, and each of you do have a special card uh, that our own Diane Bradley uh, designed. Uh, and I've put in a few uh, words uh, to each of you there. But again, uh, I truly appreciate all that you have each done for our school and for a lot of you, what each of you have done personally for me. I can tell you that by knowing each of you that I'm a better person and you've made our school a better place. So just remember, once a panther, always a panther. Our doors are always open for you. And good luck, best wishes, and happy trails. I had the privilege of getting to see Taylor at the very beginning of her teaching career. She showed up on day one ready to go, Ready, ready to learn, ready to be a part of everything that we were doing. From the very first time that she convinced me to dress up for Halloween, I knew she was bringing something really special to our PLC and our eighth grade team. I'm going to miss her energy, I'm going to miss her positivity, and I'm going to miss seeing her next door to me every day. Good luck, Taylor. I want to say happy retirement to Patty Breeden. When I first realized we were gonna be getting a new health teacher, you know, I had some nerves about having somebody new, but once Patty stepped in those doors and met with our department, it was a seamless transition. Patty stepped right in, she talked with us, she made us feel at home as she is so good at doing. Um, within the first year or two of Patty being there, she became our Walmart greeter at Hayes. She would reach out to the new teachers. I wouldn't even know their name yet, and Patty would know their first name, their middle name, their last name. She would know how many kids they had, where they were from, who they knew in common, where their kids went to school, and she'd already have a date set up to go get a drink with them to get them to know even to get to know them even better. And that's just one of the greatest qualities of Patty. She knows how to make everybody feel special and just feel welcome at Hayes. Um, on a more personal note, Patty, you are the Laverne to my Shirley. You are the Thelma to my Louise. Um, I'm going to miss you dearly at Hayes, but I know that I will see you often outside of Hayes. You've become one of my best friends, and I know this friendship will last a lifetime. I love you, Patty. Good luck with your retirement. Miss Butler, congratulations on your retirement. Go out there and make the most of this next phase of your life. Do some traveling for me, of course, once all this craziness uh, settles down. I personally want to say thank you. Thank you for always being there and having a, a good listening ear. Sometimes I just needed another adult to talk to, and you were always there uh, to listen. Thank you uh, for... Uh, always having something constructive to say. Um, I, of course, went through library school and I had tons of questions, things that I needed to ask. And you were always there to give me your advice uh, from being inside the profession. So thank you for that. Thank you for your encouragement and your support. Uh, thank you for sending me into quarantine with a killer reading list. I mean, curated just for me, um, there was no time at all uh, to <laughs> be bored because if I had any downtime, uh, I had plenty of material to keep me busy. So thank you for taking the time out to uh, make some suggestions and send me home uh, with a little entertainment. Um, 
I've learned so much from you over the years. We've worked together for a long time. I'm going to miss uh, seeing you every day. I'm going to miss uh, spending that extra time. So as you go out there into this next stage of life, uh, enjoy retirement. You really deserve it. And I got to say, I'm a little bit jealous. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's, uh, it's a great honor to get to talk a little bit about Alice and all she's meant to Hayes and all she's meant to everyone around. Um, start off with a, uh, I, I can't confirm if it was Alice or any of the number of people in the room, but one of my funniest, fondest uh, stories, memories, will always be our lockdown drill in the records room. And uh, being stuck in there with uh, quite a few individuals and certain noises uh, being made. Can't confirm nor deny who might have made those. Um, but they did come with a bit of an odor, just kind of put it out there. I, can't confirm who, where that made, but just sharing that memory um, and those laughs with Alice's is, is quite entertaining. Um, but on a serious note, wow, what a career um, with kids, working with families. Um, just to be able to start at Hayes with you, Alice, um, not being a, a counselor before that, um, and being able to learn and, and watch, um, kind of, kind of mold some of the things, um, from how professional and how sincere and how dedicated you have been, um, is an honor. And you'll never know how much that's helped me and appreciated, um, my growth. Uh, is to watch, is to watch you, um, what a strong woman, um, deep faith, uh, beating cancer, um, standing up strong with that, getting to watch your resolve through all this, uh, has, has been inspiring, um, and you're inspiring to everyone you meet, which is, which will be truly missed, um, uh, in the counseling office, through the halls at Hayes, your ability um, to kind of calm situations, um, to know the right words to say, uh, to be there uh, when people need you um, is incredible. Um, it's great to see. Um, it will be different not uh, having you around every day, but wow, what a journey you have had and really really hope you get to uh, enjoy the time on your deck with your coffee in the mornings and maybe a glass of wine in the evening to settle those things down. Um, but Hayes um, truly will miss you and we are all honored to have spent time with you in your career in the in the hallways and outside and in all the different areas of your life. Um, it's truly been a blessing uh, and inspiring uh, to be a, a co-worker and a friend. Um, best of wish for your retirement and the next chapter of your life. Um, enjoy everything and always a diva. You'll be missed. Love you, Alice. This goes out to Miss Kathy Eisenhower. Congratulations on making it through so many years with the kiddos. I pray that you enjoy your retirement, find things to do that keeps your mind sharp and your heart happy, but most of all, find things to do that bring you peace. May God grant you with many wonderful years to enjoy your retirement, your family, and all of the blessings that your future holds. Congratulations again, good luck, and be blessed. Happy retirement, Laura Kearns. I've known Laura since she started at Hayes in 2005. Through the years, Laura's been my co-worker and my friend. 
Laura holds her students to very high standards with fairness, compassion, and grace. I know this. She's taught my own children, and she makes an impact. My older kids still ask me, how's Mrs. Kearns? Laura, we've shared lots of laughter, smiles, and even tears. I will truly miss you, but I'm so happy for you. I wish you the best. I wish you health, happiness, and sunny beaches. Love you, girl. Hey everybody, I hope y'all are hanging in there. We're just about done with this crazy year. Um, today I'm here to talk about the Queen, not the Queen of England or any other country, the Queen of Hayes. In a couple of months, it'll be 14 years since this powerhouse of a woman walked through the front door of Hayes. It was the same year I had started working there. And we instantly were able to work together well. Um, I never would have envisioned at that time all of the vacations and cruises and girl weekends and uh, things that we were to do together, planning weddings, becoming grandmothers. Uh, we've had a lot of fun in, in these 14 years. And I know one thing, I'm going to miss Kendra terribly. Um, I've never known anybody that could do so many things as well as she can do them. And um, we're really going to miss her at Hayes. Um, but I do wish her the best, and I hope that she and Jeff have many happy uh, memories to come and many more grandchildren. It's not goodbye. We will be seeing you. Have a great retirement. Love you. Hey, Tracy. Uh, seven years ago, we both survived a 25-question, five-room, two-night associate principal event led by our own Dave Hoskins. A few weeks after our initial introduction, we met up at Buckhorn State Park for the adventure of a lifetime. The Buckhorn State Park Admin Retreat, in which we spent three days and two nights on top of a mountain in eastern Kentucky with no cell service and no Wi-Fi. The stories that came from that trip are legendary, and amazingly, Tracy still to try to decided to stick it out with us and become a key member of this building. Tracy's been invaluable for turning Hayes around into a top performing middle school in the city and one of the top performing middle schools in the state. Uh, her ability to see things with a different lens, to innovate the way we look at teaching our students and families is second to none. She has a great eye for finding wonderful teachers and the patience to listen to Dave and me. Tracy can break down data and make it work for the school better than any person I've ever met. Her work with math, special ed, and the eighth grade as a whole has transformed the way we do things. On a personal note, Tracy has been an outstanding colleague, but an even a better friend. I'm truly not sure where Dave and I would be without our mentoring and her counseling, her constant counseling. Tracy is not big on the mushy stuff, She'll tell you that. But I'll miss your mentorship, uh, your wisdom, the laughs, and the gripe sessions. I'll miss the free marriage and family counseling. But mostly I'll miss my friend who has been next door to me for the last seven years. Um, Tracy, we've tried like crazy to get you to stay, but we know it's time for you to be with your husband and the family, or for you and your husband to finally be in the same city. Uh, we're losing a key cog and what we've done for the last uh, seven years, uh, but your family will get their key cog back, and um, I know you're excited for that. Congratulations on your retirement. Uh, thank you for always making Hayes your second home and for making us a part of your, your family. And as always, once a Panther, always a Panther. Congratulations, Tracy, on your retirement. We're going to miss you dearly. so much, much for being part of the Hayes family and really from our entire district. Thank you for the changes 
that you've made, for the contributions that you've made. Um, I'd also like to say just a personal thank you for being a mentor, a friend, um, a vegetarian buddy. Um, really, I'm going to miss you, but I know this is not goodbye, and I just wish you and Felicia the best of luck, and I can't wait to hear all of the great things that are going to happen um, as you go out and um, continue to make a difference in our world. I love you, Sean. Big hugs. Hey, hey, every, hey, everyone. Uh, Miss Smith, this is Mrs. Smith. I just want to say it was a joy to have worked with you these last past years. And we laughed, we cried, we hugged. But uh, I love your spirit. I pray the next stage of your life is even better. You have worked hard. You should enjoy your retirement. I pray that we'll see each other down the road. But if not, it was a joy to have met you and have known you. God bless you. Hey Kate, we had a couple of really good years together, a lot of laughs. We will miss you, but I know that you're gonna kill it at Douglas with the high schoolers and the volleyball team. So see you later and good luck. Hey Carla, it's Deaton. We just wanna say congratulations on your retirement. Girl, you've put in the time well deserved. All your years working with our kids really taught you a lot. And in return, you taught me an awful lot. You've been a really helpful coworker, a good friend, and you made work fun. You will be so missed. You work so hard to get to this next chapter in your life. I hope all the coming years are filled with great joy. And what perfect timing, you just became a grandmother. Enjoy your time, and again, congratulations. Drive me crazy, call me out when I'm low and lazy. It won't be perfect, but we'll be fine. Cause I've got your back, and you got mine. You got mine. We'll have tiny boxes for memories. Open them up and we'll set them free There'll be bad days and some hard times But I'll keep your secrets If you'll keep mine You are the memory that won't ever last When 25 years have suddenly passed Wherever you take me Then you laugh Cause I hate the way I look in photographs Keep your memories But don't live the past I'm looking forward To the best days we'll have You are the memory We won't ever lapse When 25 years have suddenly passed